In this video, we will learn how to rig the character space using Tweak Angelo. So this is the lesson 4 of the explainer animation course and in case you have missed the previous lessons then you can check it out from the link provided in the description. And you can get all the files, assets and illustrations that we are using throughout this course from our website that is again linked in the description and also in the pinned comment. So before moving forward, do hit the like button and comment down below because this video requires a lot of time and effort and your comments and likes really motivates me to make more free courses and tutorials like this. So without any further delay, let's dive right into After Effects. So we are in After Effects and we will continue from where we have left in the last lesson. So let's start with importing the characters illustration file. So if you have downloaded the file from our website, this is going to be the folder structure. Uh, so there will be two different folders, one for AP, one for illustration. Inside that we have one layer separated. Inside that we're going to import frame 4 for now. So just click and drag it and drop it here in the project panel and just make sure to keep these settings footage as layer size and this one as composition and press ok. Let's drag and drop it here in the timeline. I'm not thinking about the timing of the overall animation at the moment. So let's get inside the composition. So the very first thing we will do over here is select all the face layers and pre-comp it together. And after that, we will also pre-comp the hair illustration layer. And while I'm pre-comping, I'm also going to check this, move all attributes into the new composition and check this one. And let's name it here or back here. Since we will rig only the face of the character in this lesson, so select all the layers, excluding the hair and the head layer, and just turn off the visibility and shy it out. So we will rig the full body of the character in the next lesson and in this lesson let's continue with rigging the head. So let's get inside the head composition. Inside the head composition we will convert few layers into uh, a shape layer. So we are going to convert the this hat layers and also this face shadow layer and convert these into a shape layer. And let's delete the extra illustration layers. By the way, after converting an illustration layer into a shape layer, if you get a merge path like this, you can remove it very easily. Just select the layer, then activate the pen tool, select any of the vertices. And once any of the vertices is uh, selected, you can select one or two more vertices and simply delete it like this. We only got the layer with the layer border. So all the merge paths and groups are removed from this layer. Same we're going to do with the other layers. Okay, let's select this face shadow layer and use the face layer as an alpha mat and turn on the visibility. Let's add another object. Move the anchor point at the center. So shortcut key is control plus alt plus home. And let's place it at the center of the face layer. And also let's rename it facial elements. And let's parent all the facial elements like mouth, forehead, hair, eye, eyebrows, and glasses with the facial element. Now let's move the playhead exactly at the start and open the position property, add a keyframe. Let's jump onto like around 5 frame and add a keyframe. And also let's jump onto next 5 frames again and add a keyframe. Then we will separate the dimension. At the start, we will shift the null object by a few frames on the left. This is going to be the neutral pose. And on the third key pose, we will shift the facial elements by a few pixels in the left. And then at the start, we will shift the facial elements by a few pixels up in the Y axis. And at the end, by a few pixels down in the Y axis. So here we are just creating the extreme poses, one for the extreme left, one for extreme right, one for extreme up and one for extreme down pose. And similar thing we are going to do for all the other layers. Okay, I would also like to parent these two layers of the hat with the facial elements as well so that it also moves with the, with the null. But in the extreme left and in the extreme right, this thing is looking a bit weird. I think it can shift this side a bit and in the extreme left, it can shift 
this side a bit so let's do that so let's select both these layers open the position property on the three key poses and adjust the position accordingly now after that we are also going to modify the shape path of these two layers because this curvature is going to impact when the character is moving the head in the y-axis up and down so let's open the shape path property and add keyframes After that, I would like to replace this layer with three circles. So let's move the playhead here and let's replace it with three circles and let's pick the color from this layer. And let's parent these three layers with the null layer as well. And let's open the position property, separate the dimension and readjust the position property for all these three key poses. So this is going to be the neutral pose. This is going to be the extreme left and extreme up. And this is going to be the extreme right and extreme down. Okay, I think we have not parented the face shadow layer with the null object. So let's move the playhead on the neutral pose and let's parent it and with this we got all the key poses so there's one thing that's left we have to add keyframes on the here layers position property for all these three key poses so open the position property separate the dimension and let's start with adding keyframes on the neutral pose let's move the playhead at the start and let's shift the here for the extreme left and extreme top view and now let's jump onto the 10th frame and let's do the exact opposite for extreme for extreme right and extreme down now if i move the playhead one thing you can notice is that here something is looking weird so we have to fix the shape path property of this uh, hat layer so that it looks proper so now we are going to lock this layer and then we are going to double click on the head composition and let's talk this composition window over here so that's the advantage of using both the views at the same time you can lock the composition window and in the real time you can view both the composition one final composition and one composition you are working on inside a pre-comp and you can make the changes inside the pre-comp at the same time you can view the main composition animation and make the changes real time Okay, now that all the view of this character is looking good, we can simply turn off the composition window and get to the regular view. Okay, now we will connect all the keyframes with a single controller using Tweak Angular so that we can control the entire face of the character using just a single layer. So now go to Tweak Angular, then Links and Constraints, then click on the Settings button beside Connector. And this time we are going to select the 2d slider so here a 2d slider is added since the color is black we cannot see it let's change the background composition color okay now we are going to select all the keyframes that are associated with the x position movements for the head uh, and connect with the connector separately and same we are going to do with the y axis so let's select all the x position keyframes but before that let's separate these two position property as well so let's select all the X position keyframes and for these two layers the shape path is only changing uh, for the Y axis movement so we are not going to select the path keyframes. Then here in Tweak Angular just make sure that X is selected go to next then click on properties. Now all the X properties should be connected with this connector here you can see. Okay now we are going to do the same for the Y axis but before that click on this cross button and then click on the settings again then select this slider click on pick control now change this to y axis so select all the keyframes with the y axis movements then click on next properties now the whole face is connected with this single controller one more thing that's left over here is to connect this here layer with the controller but this controller is uh, inside the composition so to get it outside the composition select this head composition 
here in the timeline then click on controllers and then click on extract it's going to extract all the controllers from inside the composition to outside the composition now if we move this head you can see it's moving properly and we are going to again follow the same process connect x and y position keyframes with the x and y position of the controller separately okay now the whole head is rigged but i can see there are some glitches here uh, in the uh, in the hat area when i am moving the controller so the issue might be when some path keyframes are involved in uh, in a rig sometimes the neutral pose may cause some trouble so removing the in between keyframes may solve the issue so let's remove the in between keyframes and let's check it out now this one is looking better i mean we anyway have the extreme key poses over here not having the neutral pose doesn't really affect much because anyway due to the interpolation we are we will get the neutral pose in between somewhere either here or here so in the similar manner i have also added a uh, x and y position keyframes for the head and rigged it with the controller and with this our head rig is complete all right so that's the end of this video in the next lesson we will learn how to rig the full body of the character using dweek angela so stay tuned for that and i will see you in the next one until then goodbye